My name is Rhonda. I'm with the uh, Mind Institute uh, Phlebotomy Lab. And um, if your child is here for a blood draw, we work as a team, be myself and child life specialist. We're here to assist your child to make the experience a positive one. Hi, I'm Erin. And hi, I'm Veronica, and we're the Child Life Specialists here at The Mind. One of the ways that we like to introduce ourselves to your child when they arrive for a blood draw is by offering them the choice of reward here in our Child Life gift shop. It's a little incentive for them since they have to come here for a blood draw, which they don't typically enjoy, but it offers us a great opportunity to get to know them a little bit better by learning a little bit about their interests. As they enter the blood draw space, they're going to notice that their staff is wearing full protective gear, such as a face shield and a lab coat. This is for their safety. Once your child arrives into the blood draw room, they can either sit in the chair, or if they prefer, if they're more comfortable, they can lie down. The Child Life team is here to support the family with the phlebotomy team, but we also have other supports in the room available for the family while they're here. We have our VECTA sensory station that has a box on it that kids can play with it and control the different colors during their draw or before and after while they're getting familiar with the space. There's also a ball that they can squeeze and manipulate the, the lights on the machine um, during their draw. And we also have this fiber optic fancy spaghetti that kids can also play with and touch for a sensory stimulation while they are doing the procedure also. <clears throat> and then we also have a weighted blanket that we can use when the parent and child is sitting on the chair. We can cover them both with the weighted blanket or if they choose to lay down, we can also use the blanket over the child while they are laying down. Another way that we help your child be comfortable in the environment is that we have several different offerings for them to watch and kind of just have a visual distraction. We have a selection of movies that they can watch while they're here and if they're not comfortable watching a movie, they can choose their favorite video on an iPad or they can listen to their favorite music with a Child Life Specialist. The Child Life Specialist remains with the child during the entirety of their blood draw. We help sit with them, we help them hold the position that they require, and we comfort them by offering them sequential steps and as much information as that they're comfortable with during their draw. If your child would benefit from more preparation ahead of their arrival to our lab, please feel free to contact the Child Life team and we can offer that preparation in advance of their arrival. And here's an example of what a blood draw would be like. Hi, I'm going to get a little bit of blood from you today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tourniquet on you. It's, it's just going to be a little tight, but it's not going to hurt. I'm just going to hold your hand, okay? It's okay. a little bit difficult to hold still sometimes, so my job is to help you through it. Okay. And then, then I'm just going to just feel a little bit. And sometimes I have to feel both sides, and sometimes I don't. This side feels good. So uh, Veronica, she's going to hold your hand. Do you have any questions before we start? No? Okay. And so then I take a little alcohol, and I'll clean the skin. Right Are you comfortable looking? Because you can also look at the iPad if you'd like. Uh, I'm okay. Okay, perfect. This was just a little tour of our phlebotomy lab. And some of the supports that our Child Life team offers you. In addition to supporting children during their blood draws, we also support them during their clinic visits. Here's what it looks like to visit the clinic here at The Mind. Today, you have an appointment at the UC Davis Mind Institute. We have a few new things you will have to do before you have your visit today to keep everyone safe. When you and your family member walk into the building, one of our medical assistants will want to say hi to you. You will be given a mask to wear. You might already have your own, which is great. You will both have to keep it on during the entire visit to help protect everyone from germs. Your family member will then be asked a few questions to make sure that you're healthy for your visit today. Next, the medical assistant at the front desk will direct you to your next stop, the Massey Clinic check-in desk. Here, a Mind Institute staff member will be happy to assist you with our check-in process and will also collect any applicable copays you have for your visit. At this time, we are not taking cash or check payment, but other forms are okay. After checking in, our front desk staff will direct you to the Massey Family Clinic. 
Once there, one of our medical assistants will ask your family member for your specific patient information and take some vital signs in the vitals room. In the vitals room, you will take off your shoes and our medical assistant will have you stand on a scale to learn about how tall you are and how much you weigh. And then take your blood pressure to learn about how your heart is working with just a short squeeze. They may also measure to see how big your head is with a soft band. To assure that everyone stays safe and six feet apart, we have new numbers on some of the chairs in the waiting area. In the waiting area, the nurse will assign your family a section to sit in. We would like each family to remain in their assigned section until your provider arrives. While you are waiting, our Child Life team has created a toy library with developmentally appropriate play items for your child to play with during your appointment. They might even stay to play with you or talk to you about your visit today. It's their job to help you feel prepared and comfortable during your visit. It is important to keep that box with your family at all times. After your visit, please leave the box in your patient room and it will be cleaned so that it's free of germs for the next child. The provider will come out to greet your family. To keep you and themselves safe during the visit, they will also be wearing a mask just like we've asked of you and your family member throughout the entire appointment. Sometimes during your visit, your provider may have you and your family member return to the waiting area to take a break. During this time, please stay in your assigned area and continue to keep your toy box with you. Once your appointment is finished, please leave all remaining items in the room and on your way out, your provider will give you a book or a small toy of your choice out of our prize box. If you have any questions or concerns, please email the Child Life team at the UC Davis Mind Institute. We are also happy to provide a pre-visit tour if you feel your child would benefit from that. We are looking forward to seeing you back at the Mind Institute soon.